Welcome to Kids Church Online. How cool is this? Wherever you might be watching from, maybe you are in your PJs right now and having a PJ party. Maybe you are getting ready for lunch or you've just had your breakfast. Wherever you are watching from, we are so excited and we have been planning behind the scenes to give you guys the best Sunday Kids Church fun on our videos and on all the stuff that we've got coming up. So keep your eyes on the screen to see more. Okay guys, in every Kids Church online video, we want you guys involved. So this can be super interactive and we can do this all together. So I've got a very nice orange microphone. And when I point this to you guys like this, that's when I want you guys to join in at home. Do you think you can do that? Oh, very good, well done. And for our grown-ups, we have got Instagrams and Facebook pages for all of our campuses. So why not tag us in so we can see what your kids get up to through our videos every Sunday. We also have a hashtag which is LifeChurchHomeKids. So let us know how you guys get on. This is called Mascot Challenge of the Week. And every week we have got a different mascot to bring us a cool challenge for you guys to enjoy and join in at home. Okay, are you ready to meet our first mascot? <laughs> okay, mm, are you really ready to meet our first mascot? All right, come on in our first mascot. Hello, Mr. Lobster. <laughs> I mean, it could be Sebastian from The Little Mermaid. Have you ever met The Little Mermaid? Awesome. So we have got a fun challenge, haven't we, Mr. Lobster? Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. And you might wanna stand up for this at home. And I think you might need a partner. So maybe you've got a grown up at home or a sibling, or maybe, maybe you've got a pet at home that could join in. And if you do, please can you tag your campus in your pet pictures? I would love to see them. I mean, maybe you have a lobster at home. Mm, mm, maybe not. You're our special lobster. Okay, so we are gonna be playing rock, paper, scissors. Are you ready? Okay, so let me remind you what you need to play this game. So firstly, you need a rock, so a clenched fist. Then you need a paper, like an outstretched hand. Very good. And then you need a scissors, so you can put your fingers together and chop, 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 chop. Oh, very good, lobster. Okay, so are you ready for round one? Okay, rock, paper, scissors. Oh, I win, yes! Okay, round two. Rock, paper, scissors. Oh, oh, we draw. Okay, rock, paper, scissors. Snip, 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 snip. Oh, no! Okay, we're gonna have to do one more round. Rock, paper, scissors. What? Okay, one more round. Rock, paper, scissors. Yes! Okay, you must let us know if you guys have beaten our lobster. So sorry mascot, sorry lobster, it didn't happen this week. Maybe our mascot next week will win. Bye, say bye to Mr. Lobster. <laughs> Thanks Mr. Lobster. My hope it has a name, the reason I believe. And it's written on my heart It's flowing through my veins Just like a melody Gives me faith so I sing Oh, here I am, come take control I want your will, not my own If there's one thing that I know It's that my God will never let me go Oh
brand new Kids Church online services, we have got a new series called Life with Jesus. And we're going to be looking through the book of Matthew in the Bible because we believe that Jesus wants to show you that he is with you every day while you might be at home doing work from school, while you might be doing challenges, while you might be helping parents around the house, Jesus is with you and he wants you to know that. So we're going to be taking a little look into the book of Matthew together. Are you ready? So before this happens in chapter three, we see that Jesus was born and we see the amazing life that he lived up until this point. And as we jump into chapter three, we can see the story about John the Baptist. And John the Baptist was baptizing lots of different people. And he said the one that would come after him would baptize in the Holy Spirit. And we see from verse 13, all about the baptism of Jesus. And only a few weeks ago, we had our baptisms. And so many of you guys made a decision to get baptized. And I'm so proud of you for making that next step in your faith and that public declaration. It's super, super exciting. And what we see in verse 13 is that Jesus made a decision to get baptized. Now, I'm thinking, did Jesus need to be baptized? What do you think? No, he didn't. He was perfect, but he chose to do this as an example. A little bit like when you're at school and maybe a teacher asks you, can you be a good example to the younger kids? Or when we say that in kids church, Jesus wanted to be our example. And what I love about Jesus is that he didn't do anything that he wouldn't ask us to do. So he has already gone ahead and showed us the example of the life that he asks us to lead. How cool is that? And what we see in verse 16 and 17 is incredible that not only has Jesus set us the best example in life, is that when he got baptized, it says in verse 16 in chapter three of the book of Matthew, that the heavens opened and the Holy Spirit descended on him like a dove. And then the Father from heaven said, I love you, I am so pleased with you, my son. And I just think that is just incredible, that Jesus is our example, and that when he went ahead and was example for all of the world, Father God was so happy with him, and he was so proud of him as his son. So we're gonna head into some prayer time now, because I believe that Jesus wants to be our example today. 
that as we are off school at the moment, a lot of your parents are working from home, we are working from home as a kids team, that actually Jesus wants you to know that even though you might not see us as your leaders at the moment, maybe we'll catch up on FaceTime, but Jesus is with you every day. And he wants to take care of you. He wants you to know that he's for you and he loves you and he thinks about you in every moment. As we've spent time in Matthew 3 together, looking at the incredible example that Jesus has set us, I think we should spend some time praying together now because I believe that prayer is powerful and the Bible tells us that as well. And I believe that as we stand together this morning and we pray and believe that Jesus will be our example, that our week is going to look different. That this week while you're being homeschooled, while you're doing lessons from home, maybe while you're helping around the house or taking your dog for a walk, I believe that this week is going to be different for you guys because we have stood in prayer and we've asked Jesus to be our example. So let's pray together. You might feel comfortable to close your eyes while we pray. You might want to put your hands together. However you feel best, you can pray along with us and the words will come up to the prayer on the screen. Okay, so dear Jesus, I thank you that you are the greatest example. I thank you that you care about my life. Jesus, I ask this week that you would help me. I pray that you would be my example. And I pray that as we go through this new series, that I would become closer to you, I would feel you near to me, and I would be so excited to be in your word. Amen? Amen. Okay guys, we have got daily Kids Church challenges coming up just for you. So earlier we talked about grabbing a notepad and a pen. So you might wanna grab this out now so you can jot down all of the challenges that we have got planned this week. Are you ready? Yeah, okay, let's go. So Monday, tomorrow is gonna be Monday memory verse. So we're gonna give you a memory verse every Sunday on Kids Online and you can memorize this scripture because we believe that it's really powerful to memorize the word of God and it's gonna help you in your week. So Monday is gonna be Monday memory verse. Tuesday is gonna be Tuesday talent show. So maybe you've got a talent that you can share with us. Maybe it's gymnastics, maybe it's playing football with a toilet roll or a football, or maybe it's doing something really fun at home that we would love to see. Wednesday is Worship Wednesday. Now we know that our kids at Live Church love to worship. So why not use Wednesdays to write a worship song? Maybe make some actions to a worship song. Or maybe you've got an instrument at home like a guitar or drums or keyboard and you want to play that and play some worship at home. That would be awesome. Thursday is going to be Testimony Thursday. So on Thursdays, we want to hear good reports. We want to hear some good things that are happening for you. Maybe you've called a friend from school and maybe they were a little bit worried or a little bit down and you got to encourage them. We would love to hear that. Or maybe this week you felt God prompted you to pray for somebody. Or maybe your grandparents, you wanted to pray for them for God's protection to be around them. Friday is Fun Day Friday. Or I'm thinking Fort Day Friday. So I think you guys should build some awesome forts. Maybe grab some blankets and your duvets and make some really cool forts or tag us in some of the fun things that you guys get up to at home. Saturday is gonna be Saturday Shout Out! So you really, really need to shout out on this day because we want you guys to tag us on Instagram or Facebook on a grown-ups device and tell us what you loved about Kids Church Online this week, maybe one of the challenges that you have done, and we will do our very best to include your shout outs onto Kids Church Online. How cool would that be? That right now we might not be able to all see each other, but we could put your shout outs on our Kids Online videos. And Sunday, of course. <laughs> I mean, uh, I don't know about you, but I, I mean, I think, I, mean, I think this is kind of happening. So Kids Church Online, but, you do not have to worry. It is not all over. When that video ends and I say goodbye and the screen closes, you do not have to worry, guys, because we are going to be sending you guys resources. We're going to send you crafts. We're going to send you ideas to do at home. Like maybe you could bake a cake this week or maybe you could send a letter to a friend. Lots of different cool ideas that we can send your way. Does that sound good? 
So for your daily challenges, we would love to see what you get up to this week. You can at your campus, so Life Church Bradford, Life Church Leeds, or Life Church Belfast, or you can use the hashtag LifeChurchHomeKids so we can see what you guys get up to and you can give us some ideas for what we can do for the following week. We would love to reshare your posts. And also, if you would like to hear from any of your kids' leaders, make sure to email in to your campus and we can have one of your leaders to contact you this week. So tomorrow is our first Memory Verse Monday and this week we're going to learn 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17 in the Children's Version Bible if you have that. And in that verse it says, If anyone belongs to Christ, then he is made new. The old is gone, everything is made new. And I think that is an awesome scripture for us to remember this week as we've been talking about Jesus being our example. Awesome. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed our first ever Kids Church Online. Let us know what you enjoyed today. And we have got so much coming up over the next few weeks, so make sure you come back and see our next episode. And we hope you have an amazing week. If your grown-ups need any help, on our Life Church website, we have our prayer and support section. So if you need prayer or support for anything in this time, let us know because we are the family of God and we stand together. So have a great week. We love you and take care. Bye.